thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, and it's it has thought. We're live. Wonderful. Hi, Tony Stockwell. Hello. Hi, Liz. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> so this is kind of fun because here I am in Scottsdale, Arizona, and Tony is in. Um, it's in the UK, uh, just outside of London. Beautiful. So um, for those of you joining us, of course, my name's Liz Dawn. You can see that on the bottom of the screen. But more importantly, we are here with Britain's most renowned spiritual medium and best-selling author, internationally renowned speaker, teacher, writer, author. And it is such an honor to have you with us today. I'm so excited, Tony. Thank you very much. I sound very good on paper. This is the problem. But, um, yeah, and I, I, yeah I've, I've been doing this a long time. That's probably why I'm possibly quite renowned because it's 30 years now of work. 30? No, no, no. You must have been like 10 when you started. Yeah, well, it's actually, it's, I've been working publicly, I, I forget now, 32 years I've been publicly <sighs> demonstrating mediumship. Yeah, it's a long time, isn't it? I, I have to pinch myself sometimes uh, to, to, to recognize just how long that is, how many demonstrations, how many one-to-one -one readings, I don't know in that time, but a lot. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. And so how did you really know that you were, like, when did it all of a sudden dawn on you, like, oh my goodness, I can speak to people in the spirit world. Like, how did that come about for you? Yeah, but I, 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 I think looking back, I, I was always aware of something. And um, it was only when I was 16 that I went along to a spiritualist church meeting. And then what they were doing then made sense because um, ever since I was a very small child, I was able to feel things and see things, but not in a, a particularly freaky way. It felt very normal at that time. And I think I became quite good at not telling too many people uh, of, of what I was experiencing. But at 16, I went along for pure curiosity, really, after my nan died and um, became, I don't know, just so fascinated with the subject. And then two years later, I was asked to join a development group. Um, and then about 18 months after that, um, I was um, asked to publicly demonstrate mediumship. And I didn't stop from there, I carried on going. Wow. And, and it just sort of kept snowballing because we've worked together in person before this whole COVID thing, right? Mm -hmm. And when you came to Arizona, and I have to tell you, you know, I've worked with a lot of spiritual mediums and I love them all. I love everybody. And your details, I mean, I have never experienced a spiritual medium with such details. Like I will never forget a reading you did for a woman. And the, I think there were about 1700 people in the audience. And you did this reading for this woman who was all the way back in the back of the auditorium. And you told her exactly what she was wearing, what shoes she had on, the color of her dress. And you probably don't remember this because this, you know, you do so many thousands and thousands of readings. And you were, it was so detailed. So how do these kinds of, I mean, your, her clothes and everything. So how do you get, um, how do you get such details? Like, is, is that something that you learned or something that just comes to you? I think both. I think you, there's certain things you can learn how to, uh, what, accept, what is acceptable to develop as concepts in mediumship, um, how to be more sensitive, all of those things. I think you can, somebody else can cajole you and, and help you to, to, to reach your potential. But I, I was saying to a group, I think yesterday or the day before, that morning I'd done, maybe I'd given two readings, that was all that morning. One was awful, awful. And even though we got there, oh my God, it was pulling teeth, oh my God. And, and so I limped through that reading quite unsuccessfully. And then the next lady, which is like a nanosecond after I'd finished my first, just brilliant. I mean, how does that happen? It was it's so intricate, so wow. much detail and ages and 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 the, the names of the communicators and everything. But literally within two hours, I'd gone from zero to hero. But that's me. Zero to hero. So, 
So, because that's something that I hear a lot. Like when, when people, when audience members see a spiritual medium, they see, well, but he was so not accurate for this one, but so accurate on that one. And then how do you attribute that? Like, how come you, like, how does that happen where one reading is so open and so right on? And then, and by the way, you guys, for all of you listening in, I'm seeing all of your messages. Hello from Texas, from New York, from Illinois, from Las Vegas. Shami is here. Susan is here. Susan studied with you in 2013. Hi there, everybody. I don't, I don't want to ignore everybody from Canada, from Edmonton, Alberta. Hi, 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 everybody. We see you. And I just want you to know that we are going to, someone is saying from Ljubljana Street. Ljubljana Street, I don't know where that is. Okay, from New Zealand, from all over the world. We just are all over the world here. I do want you to know that we are going, Tony is going to demonstrate some some readings. So um, don't start posting yet, but what we're going to do is that we will send you a link for you to, if, if you want a reading, you will be sent a link and then you'll click on that link and you need to come on to this stream with us and you'll be live on video. So make sure if you say yes, that you want a link that you will actually be able to, whoops, I don't know what that was, ah, Tanya, <laughs> that you'll be able to get the link and be able to come on your device and be with us on video. Okay, so just make sure that you're able to do that if, if, if you say yes, you want a reading. Okay, so that's how this is gonna happen. All right, so I'm sorry, Tony, I interrupted you. So go ahead and, and um, yes, so c continue, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it, it, it's this old saying about horses for courses. Some people, you get their references, some people you don't, some people are open, some people aren't, and that's it, really. You know, so um, I've had it before where I, I've not been able to read terribly successful for a client, and yet one of my colleagues has been marvellous with them, and vice versa. It's mm -hmm. just the way that it is. So this is why I would always suggest if people don't get what they need from one particular medium, don't blame the medium, just find somebody else, you know, because it, it, it's just sometimes it clicks, other times mm -hmm. it doesn't click. But when it does click, it's quite marvellous. There's no wow. question of that. You know, the amount of people that are maybe a little skeptical because of this, that, and the other, when it truly works, oh my God, it works. <laughs> and there, there's, there's nothing like it. And so we, the, the medium feels as, as high and as elated, you know, as yesterday I read, my last reading was yesterday, my evening, a lady from the States via Skype or, or Zoom, and I closed my eyes, and her daughter is there in a second waiting to communicate clear 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 and then towards the end her name comes and i write the name down and it is her name and it's all very exciting and you're you want to give yourself a round of applause but i also know don't take it for granted because you don't know do you next time round, oh you have to work hard for everything but that's yeah. really and I, it, it's interesting to me because I, and I love hearing this directly from you because that's one, that's a question I get all the time. Well, how could it have been real if this person, it wasn't so good. And then the other person, it was good. It's because it's not an exact science. It's really based on energy. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Absolutely. Really based on energy. Yes. yes. And someone just shared, had not heard of you. Well, here we go. Tony is... <laughs> really really renowned in the UK like really really well known in the UK and is I think he's world renowned because of course we've worked with you here in the United States so um, this is exciting because we're gonna be I know that we're gonna be bringing you in person again to um, you know to the United States I know we're absolutely gonna do that <laughs> so I'm excited about that <laughs> all right now you do something else that's really really fascinating you have also shared with me that you do past life readings. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I've always believed in past lives. It's never been an issue with me. And I know that um, some people are a little skeptical about lives once lived, but to me, it's always made perfect sense. And when I was very young, maybe seven or eight, I would remember things that had nothing to do with my normal London upbringing, uh, <laughs> where I would remember being all in different countries, in, in, in different genders. As, and I used to remember being a, a lady, 
you know, as from a small boy. And um, I remember being a young man passing away. I remember lives once lived in Africa. I mean, just stuff. And then the time you, I suppose, you, you have, others may question, is that just an act of imagination? But these really felt like memories. Uh, when I was maybe 17 or 18, I was regressed through hypnosis, like so many people do. And I had, you know, a profound experience then, which really helped me to recognize uh, um, the validity of, of lives once lived. Well, over the last number of years, I've, I've naturally, when I've been reading, have found myself talking about, and there's a story that suggests that in another life that. But it was only in the last uh, number of weeks, really, that I've thoroughly thought, well, I'm getting no younger. Just, you know, why not? <laughs> Just throw caution to the wind and just see what happens. So I've been reading for anyone, everyone on this level and thoroughly enjoying it. Where the, a guardian soul person will come through. So say um, anyone listening, they may in the past have been given a guide from, say, Africa as a perfect example. There's every chance that that guide presents in that way because you have shared a life with that guide invariably mm -hmm. in the space in which they, they portray themselves. Mm -hmm. If somebody has been given um, a lady from the, from the, the, the French court uh, um, back in the, the Renaissance period or, or something, there's every chance they've shared that same experience, maybe as the maid or the lover or the mother. But so I, the idea is to bring in the guardian spirit then detect the shared story between the two of them. And more importantly, what, what's the point of knowing this? Right. Why should we know this? How is this applicable? How does this help my life? And what it's what I've, I've noticed, especially very recently, is um, we're uncovering all sorts of things that maybe people believe are applicable to this life, therefore they're held back by that. But it's not actually about this life at all is, is about what they're hanging on to right. from another experience. It's what they're, they've gone through as a fear that limits them now, but it's not about now, it's a memory almost, or influence, I should say, from, 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 from another life lived. Right, I know I've had that experience as well. I'm just very fascinated because when you, I mean, you and I have spoken quite a bit and you shared with me that you do past life readings I don't know anybody who's doing that, and I just find it so fascinating. So um, here's what I'd like to do. Uh, Tanya, my assistant, is on the back end, and she's going through all the comments, and people are saying I'd love a reading. So Tanya is contacting a few people for um, readings, and she's going to she's sending out a link to you for those of you who have requested. I mean, we can't get to everybody because we know that there's hundreds of people who everybody wants a reading. So here's what we're gonna do. Tanya's gonna to be sending you a little message and she's gonna be choosing a couple of readings. And I've got a couple of people in the queue right now. <clears throat> it looks like I've got Vicki and Rachel in the queue. And so um, who would you like to start with, Tony, Vicki or Rachel? Oh, surprise me. Surprise you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring Vicki onto the screen. All right. Those and of you who we... have requested, I mean, we can't get to everybody. Vicki, what you need to do is you've got to um, turn your volume off. I know you can't speak right now, but you've got to turn your volume off on your computer. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to try doing that again and see if that works. Okay. Did you turn your volume off, Vicki? Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> did you turn your volume off on your computer? Yes, you did. Yes, yes, we did. Okay, good. Vicky, are you a little nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Vicky's nervous. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go away from the screen because I think it would be great if the two of you would speak. So I'm going to slip out here. Let me see if I can make this happen. Um, not so much, but I'll bet. <laughs> well, uh, hi, hi, Vicky. Hi. Nice Hi. And uh, thank you for uh, requesting a reading uh, with, with me. Um, all you need to do, darling, is just as I'm reading, just respond to me with a negative or a positive, depending on it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is that okay? Okay. 
Okay, all the very best of luck. So, in all of my readings, I simply close my eyes and I imagine a light from my soul self and a light from your soul self merging and melding here together that we create a wonderful space for all those who have ever been kind to you that they might come close and we say friends come come now um you're welcome here come close come close to us and vicky as i'm speaking i have a lady here coming um, um towards us and i feel she's of a very good age when she passes to the spirit world so a lady that was older certainly when she passed and i also wonder whether this is a lady you were very closely connected to like you loved her um in the course of your um life and i and i wonder whether in fact this is a, a lady that you supported right up until the time that she passed over you see so um whether you were assisting and and helping and and um cooking for but there's a real sense of looking after a lady as her health diminishes does that make any sense to you at all no not not so much bear with me not so much and and okay and 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 as this lady comes uh, close to me is the feeling so i shan't change it of wanting to thank you for all the kind deeds that you did for her prior to her passing so would you consider that for me just for a moment vicky uh, and let me build the power elsewhere we can always come back um, um to her now, um, Vicky, in more recent years, has there been um, a passing of uh, a gentleman, a man, um, to your family? Uh, again, somebody very closely connected to you. Do you see that at all? Yes. Okay. And uh, because the lady in question, she brings him with her. So I'm just going to work between the two of them. So please bear with me. And um, she's asking me to look at the man next to her. And um, it's simple enough to say, but as he passes, it feels to me that it leaves you devastated. Do you see that when he, when he passes? So it is beyond uh, um, the normal passing of someone we love, because it feels to me that as he passed over, part of you went with him. Does that, are you, are you with me at all? yes okay um and uh as he comes close there's a feeling almost of wanting to say i'm sorry for going or i'm sorry for passing this same gentleman had been poorly before he passed so there's a lead up in the way that he passes so he would have been um trying to um, get his head around and 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 make it easier for those that he loved here on on the earth you see those here in the world um and wondered always how are they going to manage without me do you see how will they manage um uh, with with, with, um, with with without me are you still with me yes and um do you see here in the last day of his life that five of you like i guess their five family spent the day with him or five of you came so close to say goodbye to him. Do you understand that? Five yes. significant people, is that real to you? Yes. Okay. And um, I know he wants to thank the five of you for keeping me company. And also this idea of, um, um, uh, also this idea of you being with him right up until the time that he passes, you see. Um, refusing to leave his side. Are you still with me there? Yes, I am. And even though when people said to you, come on, you've got to come away, you've got to rest, you've got to get some food or something like this, you, you, were, you had promised him and you had promised yourself to be there right up until the time. He can't go through it on his own. I've been with him all these years. I'm not letting him pass afraid and pass without me that's the feeling do you see i hope that's still acceptable 
um, um, to you. Now, um, the very last time you're with him, um, Vicky, do you recall being on his right hand side? Would you have sat predominantly on his right hand side? Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. And um, you were caressing his face and holding his hand. And um, in and um, because he'd been poorly for a little while, I think he's remembering the amount of times you almost slept at his side, even from a chair or something like this, um, or resting your head um, against him. Um, so as he slept, slept, you tried to get some rest at the same time. This is still acceptable to you, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And um, uh, how he, in many ways, misses uh, that contact there uh, um, with you. Now, since he's passed over, he's spent so much time with you. Um, he's watched you in the home. He's tried to assist you as you've had to um, work out financial things or bills and this kind of thing. Uh, making decisions on your own, um, which is something you are unused to. It's out of your comfort zone, do you see? And um, I just think that he's so proud of the way that you've managed to cope since he's gone. Is this correct, do you think? Are you with me, do you think? I'm not sure. Okay, well, then let me do this for you. The idea that since he's passed over, you've had to make decisions without asking him, uh, make decisions um, with, without consulting him. And it's, you know, you've had to be brave, do you know, to, to make those big decisions for yourself. And that's the sense that he's proud that you've found something within you that, 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 that drives you forward to make sure you, you can still care for your extended family or your, your family. It's just that's as, exactly as it feels. Now, Vicky, Vicky, um, do you see here that you tend to wake up around 3 a.m. in the morning? Do you, do you see here that you tend to wake up from your slumber, wake up from your sleep? And it's kind of like 3 a.m. It's 3.10 uh, a.m. Do, do you notice that? Yeah. Okay. Is it true? I do. Is that correct? Um, because that's mm -hmm. the time that he finds it easier to come to you. Do you see? And I want you to be aware of the time on the clock. You know, each time you think, wow, that's crazy. Oh, my God. That's the same time again. And it's that time in the stillness of the night that if you asked him to come especially close to you, he would do exactly that, do you see? For you crave, you, 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 you crave this idea of one more time being embraced by him. And uh, this is the greatest time you'll have of feeling his presence. Do you see that um, around you at that time? This is a very smart man. Do you see that? A bright man um, in life, a clever man um, in life. And I want to say, Vicky, he was very self-made. Do you see that? He was driven, hardworking, couldn't abide tardiness in any way. Do you see that? And yes. um, he made something of himself from nothing. Do you see that? So um, he starts from scratch, as we would say, and he became you know, successful in the course of his life. And he was driven. And um, I wonder, I don't know where I'm going to go here, but I wonder when you look at his childhood, it wasn't the easiest childhood. Do you see that? Or um, there was pain in his family from, from his growing up. And so that almost motivated him to, you know, in life, if you don't work hard, you get nothing. Do you see? So this this dogmatic, wonderfully courageous feeling of, of, of making something of his life and then making our family's life easier. Do you see that still uh, through his yeah. endeavours? Um, I don't know this. Um, but but um, uh, something about... Um, love at first sight or something like that. I think it's a conversation I'm picking up on. Um, but something about that, is, I don't know what to do with that, but that's in my mind um, um, too. Oh, it is different. Um, quite recently, so maybe yesterday, um, you had occasion to look at three separate photographs uh, of him in each of those photographs. They do feel with other people in those photographs, mind. 
but you either spoke about them with a with a friend or you picked three photographs up and and dusted them and looked at each do you see that at all can you make sense of that yeah. at all is that true do you think whoops i'm popping in oh, I, know, so, I just want to check is that true do you think is that true about the pictures is that okay fine uh, um, and um, all I want to say to you here is he, he was there, you know, he's, he literally was next to you as you looked at him in these three photographs like this. And um, I don't, this is your personal business, I know, but one of these photographs, I feel you clutched and held it to your chest like this, you see, like you clutched it, maybe give it a kiss, uh, um, held him to your um, chest and and hoped that he would one day come through or hope that one day you'll be together do you see that um again is, are you resonating yeah. with that vicky yes is it true do you think it's okay that's fine sorry um and uh it's just this feeling of um keep kissing my photographs keep holding my photographs because on some level he feels that do you see um, um one more time i know i'm being shocked all the time i'm sorry but um he doesn't want to go and it's just this feeling of mm -hmm. you will always be the love of his life there's no question of how many days or weeks or months that separates your lives um he will always be 100 percent still yours and in the fullness of time there is a reunion already planned um but god you know god will in many years to come but there's a real feeling here of uh, um, 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 a reunion of souls um, and love can never break that bond of souls oh that is beautiful does that resonate for you Rick, vicky yes it does wow that was amazing is this the first time you've ever had a spiritual medium reading yes it has <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We've got a bunch of other people that are, are waiting. So um, I'm going to, that, that was really amazing. Like that was, and you could see it was her first time. So she was a little bit nervous. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. People are often based mediumship and uh, um, recognize it is accuracy upon the reaction, but it's not always the case. Sometimes right. you have little reaction for someone, but you've changed their world. You see, yes. and sometimes yes. you get a big loud reaction, which sounds great, but it's you know it's, it's not really having the same effect. So, I know, yeah. I know. My sense is that she really knew. I could see by the way her face was changing, that um, and how you know heartfelt that felt. That that was really right on for her. Okay, so we have. Are you ready for the, another one? Of course. Okay, hold on a second, Rachel. I have to unmute you. Unmute. There we go. And this is Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, how are you? All good. Super All good. excited. <laughs> no, I hope so. Good. I hope I can do it justice. No, yeah, great. Well, well um, sit back, relax, um, Rachel, and uh, let me see who's here or what other information I can feel um, for, for you. Have you had a reading before? I have. You have? Okay. I have. We, we I tried just a little bit. It's a go. We, yeah, I got, I'm lucky. I got picked twice. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. okay. Very nice as well. So um, I close my eyes, and as with Vicky, I imagine light emanating from the both of us, and in which we say, um, um, loved ones, come, come, come be with us, come stand with us, come know us, come share um, um, with us. Um, certainly. Um, it's very interesting, Rachel, because as soon as I make this connection, they show me a picture of you as a child, you see. So mm. I am to remember you as a little girl. And in this little girl feeling, I have a gentleman that comes close to me who's very excited to come and find you here. But I wonder whether he, in fact, remembers you as a child. Do you see that? As opposed to being an adult, if you like. Um, my first instinct, this may well be a grandfather to you um, coming from the spirit world, a very polished man. That's the feeling, you see. So I know as he comes close, I almost want to put my shoulders back. He's got shiny shoes. Very smart. You see, that's very important. And a disciplined man. 
certainly as he comes here but where you came along you melted that heart do you see you 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 melted his heart and he couldn't help but to be soft and silly and and cuddly and and um and and, and let his guard down does this make any sense to you absolutely you? yes it does I, I, and and he's and he's given me that very strong sense that um, it was the children of his family, not so much his children, but actually the more his grandchildren, uh, that really saw a totally different side, do you see, um, mm -hmm. uh, of him. And I, and I wonder even in his earlier days with regard to his own children, he was still this, this man who, were, who was uh, uh, um, rather um, formal in some ways, maybe formal is the wrong word, uh, um, but rather formal and, and was so still very similar to Vicky, so, so very dedicated to making something of himself. So there's very similar feelings here. Um, but again, when you came along, all of that changed. He knows how you grieved for him. Um, after he passed mm -hmm. and could not make sense that you'd never see him again. You see that? It felt completely odd to you. And whether you know this or not, that really was one of the biggest catalysts um, for you to consider, is there something else? I wonder if there's something more than this, do you see? Yes. Because it made no sense to your younger self to have lost someone, never to see them again. Now, this has come about five or six times, like it's... it's giving me this huge sunflower you see and I don't have time to say it but it gives me this huge sunflower and it's a gift from him to you of his mm -hmm. everlasting love and his brightness and his breeziness as he tries to energize your life now I know we're in a public forum so bear with me but can I say this to you I wonder if this last four years of your own life has been rather more uphill, rather more problematic, uh, rather more hard work, rather more, you know, do you understand? Like everything you do, oh my God, it's like you have to work twice, twice as hard, do you see, everything. And, and it is significant to say four years. Does that make any sense to you? Are you with me? Yes, it does. <laughs> In a yeah. real way or a true way? Uh, Four years has been the last four years has been extremely tough for me. Yes, that's absolutely. When, that's it. And yeah. um, and he recognizes that. Do you see? It's almost yeah. like comedy. You know, like something else would go bad, and you go, "Oh my god, well it's happening to me all over again." <laughs> well, that's just right. as it is. Well, on the curveballs, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. So before that, he felt streamlined, easy mm. by far. Right. Absolutely. Well, I want to I want to say to you what I know, and that is what whatever you're going through is a five year cycle. That's how it comes to my mind. Okay. So I wonder another year, unfortunately, another year of having to strive. I wish I could say it was gone. Uh, no, another I year of having to strive, make right, make the right decisions. Do you see? Mm -hmm. uh, and then I feel that you are out of the woods, you know, like in a new vista of possibility here um, mm. in your life. You may need to move home or relocate uh, um, also to see that change. Do you see that? Okay. I don't know if that, that's, that's a terrible th fair thing, but um, mm -hmm. the idea is after one year, the real sense of pastures green, uh, moving on, looking out, looking more so, um, may well be evident at that point. But um, he will support you every step of the way, no question of that, because he is something of your guardian angel. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. He is something of your guardian. He will watch you. He will hold you. He will support you through the next little bit of a rocky patch that you may have um, mm. to to go through. Um, uh, something else quite personal. Um, have you had a very recent conversation with yourself and a girlfriend where um, someone has been talking about wanting a baby? But uh, um, almost wondering, ugh, is it the right thing to do at this point? Um, shall I? Can I? Will I? Does that make any sense? No, that that does not sadly resound with me. Everything else is a hundred percent, and I'm I'm assuming that the man is my grandfather. And about three years ago, my mom passed away, his daughter, and right now. My grandmother, his wife, who is 97, 98 years old almost, yeah. is passing. Oh, okay. 
lots to do. So lots that do. all resounded for me for 100 percent but no baby talk no, no, okay. none of that then bear, with, bear with me because i will oh, find yeah. it i will find it because it's come up for a reason and, and and this is my feeling so bear with me won't you yeah. my feeling is a conversation with regards to a baby so i ask you to consider reconsider if you've chatted to a girlfriend and you've just been privy to the conversation. And this is my feeling, whatever this means, I feel the mother-to-be will be 42 years of age when having a child, four and two and 42 years of age and a baby comes. I just um, think that's true. I'm turning 42 in March. <laughs> well, good luck, Rachel, good luck. Um, what did I tell you? <laughs> I'll keep out of it. But uh, um, 42, a baby will come. Um, so, <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? Really oh, yeah. for you. But, Wait a uh, second. Did you see her face when you said that? <laughs> no, no, no. I just had to jump in here. Tony, I have a quick question for you. So Rachel, and, and I don't know about mediumship, if it, if it can work this way, but Rachel just shared um, that her that she just lost her mom. Yes. So if somebody comes to you and says, okay, I've lost this person, do, and you, do you, can you, can a medium kind of, I don't know what I want to say the word yeah, force. Tap into, yeah, absolutely. Ah, okay, absolutely. do you want to? Now, what, what I would do, and I will do it now, no problem at all. Um, I would say, could I please, see, I would ask for their name. Now others might say you should never ask for anything, but I think if you've got limited time, I would much rather say, give me something I can hold that I can use to call and invoke that same person um, and then not bother at all. So that's my my reference. So, okay, Rachel, Rachel, go for it. <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to do? Ask about Jean? Ask about my mom? Yeah, it's fine. So you tell me, tell me her name is Jean. So that's it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got no, lost. Right. I'm still on the baby part. What? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> you're lost. You're lost. Yeah, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, I just have to. I just. I just have to relay the stuff. Um, <laughs> so I ask now for her. Is Jean there? Is Jean there? Can Jean come close to us? Can Jean be here, and uh, and be close um, to us? See. Um, had your mother had a cancer passing when she passed? No, no, no. I don't have it just yet. Stay with me. Oi, 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 oi. No, I don't have it just yet. Isn't that strange? Um, tell me your age when she passes. Sixty-four. Hmm. Let me just calm a little bit. Oh, no worries. Maybe I'm getting myself a little um, angst, but um, um, do you do you see your mother as a very intelligent, educated woman? Um, Absolutely. Um, because when I pull gently on that link, I just have the imagery of pens and paper as to give me the impression that I would write or um, I use my mind, you know, that sort of thing. And um, this is very much a lady with no judgment you see that still so everyone's equal do you see that in mm. her mind okay. and um she would stand up for the underdog do you see do you see that at all yes so, I do. absolutely okay and um i also wonder whether she had an interest in the education of children uh, or um would have supported education for children or may have simply spurred children on come on you know get on with your studies it's important does that make sense to you mm -hmm. she is started it? a co-op when i was young <laughs> she started a what sorry a co-op school like a oh. like a kindergarten um okay, co -op. okay. let me carry on then. Okay. because <laughs> the feeling is the feeling and it's just the importance of um education of children that's just the impression she brings me here the intelligence the importance of children um to stand for the underdog to have no um preconceived ideas to give everybody a chance this is a lady with real social justice do you see that at the mm -hmm. heart of who she was do you see mm -hmm. that? um she did not mind speaking out do you see that loudly at times <laughs> if something was unjust do you see mm -hmm. that? I feel she's coming close to me now. And um, I wonder whether she at times had spoken 
in meetings do you see that here where mm -hmm. uh, um, decisions maybe again it's about education but decisions were made do you see that so wonder if i'm moving slightly beyond the children's education to another right. realm of a world do she was a that? bank manager so oh there you go okay yeah uh, it's mm -hmm. just the idea is I'm, i don't feel afraid to speak aloud do you see mm -hmm. that i will not have that that sort of thing mm -hmm. you see. Absolutely. Uh, um here and in my world um she loved good shoes that's very important. <laughs> good shoes. And I don't I don't say lots of shoes. I'm not saying mm -hmm. that. I'm mm -hmm. just saying good shoes. Yes. She'd rather spend money on one good pair than four mm -hmm. pairs that she's gonna throw in the bin. Do you see? Yes. Throw yep. in the trash, I should say. Um uh, um actually she comes here with good shoes on. That's Im important here to me. I'm going to say this because I think it's true. I do wonder whether she recognized that her life was coming to its end, something like this. And so there's a feeling here of wanting again to take you aside and say, Rachel, I'm not always going to be here, do you see? Yep. I need you to be strong. I need you to look after everybody. And there may well be other siblings, I don't know, but I feel she entrusts the family to you. That's what I think. Uh, um, or she feels that you're going to be the one with the most reason or the most ability to hold us together, do you see, um, mm -hmm. in her absence. That's important still. Um, she wants, this is so custody, so simple, but she wants to give you jewellery, do you know? She wants to uh, hold jewellery for you to have. Okay. And some of this jewellery may even be kept for you, but okay. it's yours. Do you see okay. that's very important? Yeah. And and you're to move forward in your life. This is very important still. Come on, Jim. Come do better things. And um <laughs> and she brings me that. Have you had um uh, an artist draw her face or something? Have you had a my, my grandmother, her mother, who is passing right now, is an artist and for the last three years have only been drawing pictures of my mother. Oh beautiful, beautiful. Uh, oh, um, well, it's a lovely thing, isn't it? But all I just know is yeah. like it's a sketching or painting. I don't know, but it's it's making her face, making yep. her face. It's one draws of constantly of my mom. Yep. Oh, beautiful. So I feel she's coming closer now. It took me a little while. I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, she's she's registering these these artist impressions of her mother. Beautiful. Uh, um, and I want to say um to you something like um um in the fullness of time you should take one of these images at least and have it pride of place for always you see that in mm -hmm. the space in where you live and this is bizarre right but you'll see from that particular image whatever the image you choose it's like the eyes will look at look at you no mm -hmm. matter where you move in the room you know like a bit weird isn't it? but it's mm -hmm. like you will go god it's like she follows me around the room this is crazy um that's important now um stay with me a little longer now this is interesting uh, we thought she had passed over but she hadn't she came back to life and then passed again so do you do you know if we'd all gone oh my god she's gone oh no she hasn't it's something like that do you see and uh and then she went again for the second time do you see that at all is that real i she had um she was on life support for um, a while. And yes, I mean, she had stroked, she went through the gambit. It was a tough death. And uh, there was moments of of, of probably flatlining and, and being re revived, I'm sure. Okay, that's just fine. Yeah. Well, the feeling is the feeling. And the feeling is at the last, I went, but wanted to come back to say yeah. one final goodbye. That's the reference. I'm yeah. gone. Yeah. And then I came back just to say goodbye one last yeah. time. Yep. That's important. Um, what something about four of you? So about four of you being with her as she passes over. Um, four of you always there. There's something significant in that number four. What do you think to that? There was five of us around in there, but when she passed, but I I feel like the four would be the four main 
family members, if that makes sense. Um, I don't sure. mind wherever you play it, but there's no. <laughs> the feeling of the, always the four of you are there yeah. or something yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Not five, I don't see five, I see four uh, of you um, mm -hmm. were, were constantly there. And if one couldn't get there, then the other one would come in like right. like on tandem, you know, one like a tag yeah. team almost, one after mm -hmm. the other, never being on her own, never truly right. being right. on her yeah. yes, on that makes her sense. own. And I don't know why she draws my my mind to like 15 minutes past two uh, or uh, we'd say a quarter past two, 15 minutes past two, something like that, you see. Now, um, there's something significant about that time that's real and it feels like that's the time she comes back to you. That's the time she comes back to you. So listen, pinch of salt time. Well, you know that I've said 15 minutes past two, it could be even in the afternoon, with mm. a, a very um, a strong and powerful sense of, I think she's here, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, um, quickly now, flowers are very important suddenly too. And I don't just want to give you fresh flowers, I want to give you dried flowers or pressed flowers. Do you see that okay. sort of thing? You see? Yeah. And I wonder whether she had pressed flowers under glass at some point here, pressed flowers in a in a in an image, pressed flowers in a I don't know what else to do, I don't know what to say. Pressed I, flowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I, I yeah, I, I, I'm not, I probably, I'm not, I don't, that's not hitting the button. Like I can, I'm sure later when I go, I'll be like, oh yeah. Uh, you know, uh, right now. yeah. And yeah. when you find it, sorry, keep interrupting, interrupt, I'm sorry. No and, um, but when you find it, look for purple flowers. That's what oh. it feels like. Okay. Purple flowers. Yeah. Like you might find an iris or something like this. Okay. That's the significance of it. And I would ask you just to consider that for me if you will I will oh, thank you. that was beautiful thank you rachel yeah, good luck with that baby rachel oh, well, so amazing go look at the baby i love that <laughs> so let me ask you something we've got a few more people in the queue what if they came in and said just so we could sort of do like lightning round how about that <laughs> i don't know how no, lightning really i can be but we can give it a go um, if they actually asked you, oh, I apologize. That's a Don't phone that never rings in my house. Yeah, gee, wow. And so we'll just have to make that one go away. That's okay, so what would happen if we went ahead and have them at, tell you who they'd like to connect Let's with? Let's try one. Let's try one. Let's, Let's do that. Look at someone. Yeah. Oops, oops, oops. Wait a second. I did that. Whoop, whoop. That was the wrong person. Sorry, sorry, oh. sorry, Barbara. <laughs> Next, we've got Sharon. <laughs> Oh, Barbara. Oh, my God. I know. I'm sorry, Barbara. Oh, <laughs> my God. I'm very excited. Hello there. Uh, oh, hi. hi, Sharon. Nice. nice to see you, darling. Hi. And thank um, you, Tony. Thank you. And Liz. Thank you very much. Um, let me, I don't know how lightning I'm going to be. Please forgive me for a second. No um, worries. And are you looking for someone specific, do you think? Well, I am, and uh, I have a feeling that um, there may be m more than one that might want to come through, but specifically um, my my brother, my baby brother. Mm. I didn't have a brother, I'll be absolutely honest with you, because I did feel, um, I, I put down son, because I felt a well, young man, do you see, coming he, close. It, he was my brother baby brothers so i could see how that might be okay let me work and see what happens but i do yeah. have a younger feeling of a gentleman coming close to me and uh and and i don't want to pick up on too much what you've said but the feeling is thank you for looking after me do you see that or thank you for caring and um thank you for supporting me that sort of thing and um when i pass the spirit well do you see that he passes quickly when he passes very that? quickly it was very yeah. sudden and it's just it's just a simple feeling but it's a feeling of um we never had a chance to say goodbye did we that's the feeling do you see we not never at had all a chance to say um cheerio or i love you or something like this um i like him he's very high energy do you see that very high yeah. energy and, and he loved uh, fun and to laugh and to joke and to dance and just be act 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 to the the fool you see in a in a in a wonderful way 
and um, he lived his life um, to the full. That's also very real um, to me um, too. Now, um, prior to his passing, had he spoke to you about um, maybe real life concerns before he passes? Um, did he have some big yeah, decisions to he, make? Some... The last several years, he had been going through some, uh, it was odd behavior on his part. Um, yeah. He was not, uh, he was not like he had been his whole life. No, I get and, that completely. But do you think he might have been taking something that moved his mood somewhat? Yeah, I think I think uh, he was being affected by somebody else in his life, and that he might have been partaking in, in some drug taking. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I wrote down what you were talking to me. That the word drugs comes to my mind. And yeah. I feel that um, when when you, when there's something about that, and and it had um, in this last part of my life, I'd not been so upbeat or so fun. Do you see, that's the idea, and uh, I, my life had become rather more complicated, and I just feel here my mind wasn't my own. Do you see that? Do you see? And uh, that's such a shame. I wish I'd got out of that beforehand. That's exactly what I do feel. Um, I, I, and this is what it is, but I just really wish he had packed his bags and come and found you. That's what I think. That he could have just come stay with you and you would have straightened him out, you see, um, in this way too. I do feel I um, let him down in that way for no, sure. No. I don't think you do. And I kind of imagine you saying that. And I want to, I don't want to tell you off. I don't. So I promise you I don't. But I think he wants to tell you off. That's the difference. Stop saying that. Don't say that. I think that's that's not fair on you or him. He was a big boy. You know, you were a grown up. You know, come on. And he, he, he could have uh, monitored his life better. That's what I think. I do. Now, would he have passed alone when he passed? Well, he... He didn't. He had somebody knew that that um, a friend um, that loved him dearly that tried to save him. He died of a massive heart attack, and she tried to save him. But so she's quite traumatized. We're all very traumatized because it was very sudden, and we're very uh, concerned whether he's passed over, whether he's stuck somewhere, whether he's happy, whether, you know. Yeah, I can, I can tell you now, he's, he's as right as rain. Absolutely as right as rain. Yeah, all this about being stuck somewhere, he's passed, he's there. No question of that. Uh, no question at all. He's, he's, since he's been to the spirit world, I wonder if he's something of a, a thrill seeker there. Uh, uh, like he's <laughs> jumping off stuff. I don't know what he's doing, but he feels like he's having a, a party of, of wonderful experience. How old was he when he passed? Will you tell me? Uh, 56. 50. 56. 56. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's, um, both our parents had passed um, prior and uh, I think they might have, Wanted to have a conversation or two with him oh, about sure. his sure. choices. Hmm. Oh, I'm sure. Um, you, did you tell me his name? James. James. Okay, bear with me a second. Um, he wants to be, be remembered as handsome. That's the important. <laughs> he was handsome. Yeah, he wants to be remembered as handsome. I have almost like a movie idol looks, something like this, you see. <laughs> Uh, um, and that he had the, the 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 world was about him. He could, could have had anything and done anything he ever wanted. Where he dwells in the other world, he dwells near water. That's very important. And I wonder if it was his dream, do you see, to live by the ocean or to live by water. And so he dwells now in a beautiful part of the other world. That's very important. Had your father been a, a lot, lot taller than your mother? Had he, had he been um, a head taller than your mother? No, no, my, no, not much. No, there, my dad was uh, just a wee bit taller than my mom. No, that's fine. Thank you very much. Let me be wrong. It's quicker. Um, now, in your family, would there be a policeman? No. 
no, then I've shifted. Isn't that wicked? I've left you. I've dumped you. It's wicked of me. Uh, <laughs> I've moved on. I've got very clear and other information. So what I'm going to say is what I want to tell you is this. Younger man, 56, you tell me now, but I perceive him younger, um, comes close to me, thanking you for everything you ever did for him. Knowing the last couple of years of his life, he was off. And I do feel medicated or, or, or not well. Do you see on, on some, some level? Um, this is interesting. I did have um, uh, a boyfriend when I was 18 that died of drugs as well, um, suddenly. Maybe there's Very more, handsome. More than one feeling here. What was the boyfriend's name? Doug. I don't know. Oh, if we had an hour, I'm so sorry. We That's could, okay. We really no. Pull it all apart. No, you, you gave me a bit of some peace. Some, yeah, uh, some peace. Thank you through. so much. I'm sorry, no problems. I always wish it was more, but um, that's what I have for now. Mm. Thank you. Time. Thank you so much. Oh, Liz, I can't hear you. Sorry, I think you're you're on mute, done. That's it. Don't worry. I love that's it. Actually I, perfect. It's perfect. Gonna hear me. And that's what you're talking about. Sometimes it just comes through really clearly, and other times it's like a little bit. Yeah, like, and I, yeah, and I can rush it too. So I, I'm stumbling over myself. Oh, then don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. So, um, do you feel like one more? Do you want to sure. do? I feel okay. quickly on the end. Yes, okay. Sure. So, um, but I want to share with everybody that Tony is offering a couple of gifts for you. So. If you, I'm going to go ahead and put the website right up here. And if you go to celebrateyourlife.com forward slash Tony, there's a couple of free meditations. And the first meditation is, do you want to share what they're about? The first meditation is all about connecting with the deceased loved one. Yeah. And the other is about connecting with our ancestors. So there are um, uh, meditations that I create, and I, I believe that I also believe that teaching is part of our mediumship. So when I teach, I don't really, I've got a title and a strap line, but I move with the class with it. So this was created for a group of people very interested in this subject matter. And I thought it would be perfect for this extended group if they have, uh, firstly, a want to connect to their own loved ones so rather than look into the mediums to to bring the information there's ways that we can become um, um, gentle in our thoughts and start to breathe and welcome our own loved ones to us that we might have our own experience through a meditation so that's the first one and the second is uh, when we allow um uh, ourselves to sit by the primal fire it is created in our mind and we ask of our soul family and those that we have come from and inherited our body from to come yeah. close to us so the ancient ones might come i love that i actually got a chance to listen to both meditations and they're just beautiful they're absolutely beautiful so if if all of you go to celebrateyourlife.com forward slash tony there's a way that you can actually get a couple of downloadable meditations. So go and grab that because they're really wonderful. And we'll also make sure that you are alerted. We're gonna be doing some, some more of these events. And the only way to really, really find meaning some more Facebook lives, we're gonna do an actual online event and Tony's gonna to do some more readings. He's gonna teach you how to do it. We're also gonna talk about past lives, I hope, yes coming up, coming more. Um, so the best way to find out about what's happening is to go and grab those free meditations. We'll make sure that you're put on an email list so you'll be the first notified to jump in and be able to um, participate in groups like this. So make sure that you go ahead and grab that, everybody. All right. So Barbara, who I accidentally clicked on before. So I'm going to just take this away just for a second so we don't have to look at that. And Barbara, you are in with us now. Oh, Barbara, I'm so glad to see you. We lost you. I'm so sorry. Are I you know. able to unmute yourself? There we, there we go. Hold on. I got it, Barbara. Here we go. There. We're good. Ah, there you go. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Hi, doing? Andy. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank you, Liz. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Nice to see Thanks. you. Nice to see you, Barbara. And Barbara, did you want any one particular person to come through? No. No, you're 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 good to go. Let me work with you. Okay. And let's see where we're going to go. 
Oh, this is easy, Barbara. But you're going to be easy peasy. Um, um, in as much, I think you're already wide open to the spirit world yourself. You yes, see? I am. And you feel the spirit world around you, but you also tell other people what you're feeling. Do you see? Yes. That? For them as well. So as soon as I make a link with you, before I even go through my rigmarole of blending, I go, oh, she's one of us. Hello, yes. Barbara. She's, she's <laughs> in the <Hello>. gang. <laughs> and so your reading is easy. So I think very simply what they want to do as they come here as the collective is to say, Barbara, hello, Barbara. Nice to see you. <laughs> and um, they want to thank you for your work. They want to thank you for your kindness that you share with other people. They want to thank you for your healing that you offer um, uh, as, as well. Uh, they know three days ago you were uh, maybe very sad, Barbara, or crying. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Yes. And uh, we wrapped our arms around you. We wrapped our arms around you. I wonder then if you fell asleep in the afternoon or something like this. I uh, did. Maybe in your chair and woke up and thought... Oh, I just have to get on with it. Do you see? Yes. And it's like whilst you slept, they nurtured you and they healed you. And so as you awoke from your slumber, you felt renewed. And I think that's beautiful because when spirit truly believe in any one of us, they will maintain and sustain us. And exactly what they're doing for you, they are Good. they have chosen to maintain and sustain us. Do you see that here? Yes. Uh, this is very personal, so I shan't say anything more than what I need to say. But I want to say rather like the phoenix that raises, rises rather more from the flames you have risen. And um, and I and I know that in your young life, do you see that? You had yeah. something to rise from. Do you see yes, that? Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, I also want to, I do want to go on and say, I want to, on their behalf, to apologize for your can I say upbringing? Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yep. Um, and and uh, to say that um, if only we knew whilst we were alive, we would have done more to protect you. That's the feeling. Um, in that, I, I do feel quite a lot on that. And I'm, I'm just choosing not to go there. But uh, I want to say don't let your memories haunt you. Just understand they're there. Move all from them if you're able. Um, but choose to dance in the light. Uh, choose to dance in the light and don't keep looking back. That's yes. what I think here. Your life changed at the age of 16, um, where you you were um, able to elevate yourself, move forward um, in your life and, do, and, and find some form of independence, would you say? Yes. Um, but your life truly didn't become happy until you were 35. And at the age of 35, something moves in your life where you feel you're enabled and are suddenly allowed to make your own decisions as, you know, for yourself yes. and not be moved by other people's whim. Do you yes. see where I'm going to go with that? Yes, I do. Um, there's a gentleman in the spirit world now who had a big drink problem whilst he was alive in this world, do you see? Uh, he's now a teetotaler, good news, and uh, and uh, does only come here with support of you. Now, this is interesting, Barbara. Were you brought up around horses? Were you brought up around uh, ponies or horses? No. Say no if you weren't. No. No, okay, I'll take that. But there you. is a pony memory. Okay, well, I won't change what I've got. i just tell you what I get. I promise you they have one move through my thoughts. Do you see? Okay, yes. And, but it felt like a happy feeling, do you see, as opposed to Barbara, you bucked off at high speed. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. It feels like a nurturing or a happy feeling. And mm -hmm. I know there's either a pony or a horse that follows you from the other world, do you see? Again, supporting you. That's okay. real. Um, um, to me now, my mind just goes a little crazy, and I just suddenly I'm, I'm on a, a train, I'm on a train track, uh, I'm on a train, we're going at high speed, and um, this again goes back to your childhood. And there's some form of a, the link to the trains or the yes. link to the train tracks or something like this, you see. train tracks. You see it. And um, there's some positive memory in that, too. Do you see some positive memory of playing on the train? <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, playing yeah. on the train track. Barbara, get off the train track. Yeah. Um, there's some positive memories in playing there. 
there are. And, um, as a child, there was a little boy who passed over in your community, do you see, um, when you were a child. Now, I don't know if he was 10 or he was 11, something oh, like this. It's going mm -hmm. back a bit, eh? And yes. Was in your community, and I feel your community was rocked a little. Do you see that here? At yes. His demise. Does that make yes, sense? Yes, it does. Well, um, he comes back. He's ever so excited to come back and say he's made it, he's there, and he's never stopped wondering or uh, um, considering your you and your world. Do you see that? You oh, and your life? yes. And he wants to come close. He passes very tragically, that boy. And and he wants to come close to you and say, um, I've always wondered and now choose to gather in such a permanent way that um, he becomes one of your souls, inspire, an inspirer um, to you your soul's um, progression uh, like this. Now, this is interesting, Barbara. About <laughs> four years ago, you woke up in the nighttime with a golden light in your bedroom. Do you recall that at all? Oh, yes, I do. Is that true, though? Yes. Good. And um, they're coming back. It's always easy to read for you. wide open. It's lovely. <laughs> and um, I see a golden light in your bedroom like this. Well, of course, you know this. That was us. We knew. That was us. We're coming again. We'll come again. We'll come again and support you here as in this um, way. One of your grandmothers was incredibly poor. Um, as in her lifetime, yes. where she would have to remake the kids' shoes and patch them up in bits of leather and anything she could get her hands on to. She would make one pot of food at her last days, and she yep. often went without food herself. Do you see that there? Yes, I do. As to support her, ch her children. And she comes here as your grandmother, and she comes here with her hat on. Is it fine? The and little so, black hat. <laughs> and uh, she's come here with her hat on because she wants to look the smart as she could and although she was poor financially etc she was a millionaire in spirit do you see that she yes was a i do wonderful woman mm -hmm. and she had very close connections with um an african-american family who lived very close to where she lived and she would choose to help feed their children too now that might have been when she's a little bit older but it's definitely in my memory do you know that to be true yes i do is it true, true? It is and true. She loved those kids like they were her kids. Do you see? Yes. She loved those kids. And and I know that um, I've wow. got her here with neighbours that she used to have that have now passed. And they've become such like good and buddies. Do you see that? They've good. become such strong mm -hmm. friends because they, they no one had anything. So we just supported each other. That's all yes. we could do. We just supported each other. Now, this is brilliant. Now, there was a woman. Um, <laughs> I'm getting excited now. There, there was um, a woman who died in your grandmother's lifetime who was murdered. And she was left in the woods. Left in the woods. Do you know this story? No, left I don't. The woods. Okay, thank you. But I still think it's true. And um, when you look at this or ask other family members, I wonder whether the name of Therese or Teresa, something like that comes into my mind. Teresa. Teresa, Teresa, something like this. Mm -hmm. And I wonder here that um, your granny has met her since she's passed over too. And I think you're going to find that. I think you're going to find that to be true. Right. Uh, okay. Now, if you recall and remember your grandmother, do you know how old your nanny was when she passed? Oh, gosh. Either approximately or... She was in her 80s. 80 what, though? One grandmother was 84. The other, I believe, was 86. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I just think that was true. But, um, yeah. I thought this lady was 86 because she's writing it in my mind very clearly. And um, 86. So she had a good long life. Yes. But what, what a, what a marvellous woman. A marvellous woman who loves you very much. And before I go, because I know I'm running out of time, she brings you the gift of seashells in my hand. And as a child, you would play with seashells like they, they were your jewels. Is that a yeah. memory for you? Yes. Are you with me there? Wow. Yeah. And she, just these beautiful pink seashells are in my mind like this. Mm -hmm. And how you also felt as though you were... A millionaire. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, that was Thank you very much. That was yeah. great. Thank you, Barbara. And thank you. 
Yes. Okay, so, um, we are running out of time because I know that you've got another, you're teaching another something. Demonstra well, another demonstration. <laughs> All right, so everybody, make sure you go to celebrateyourlife.com forward slash Tony. Here's the URL and get a couple of free meditations and then you will be notified as soon as we're going to do this again because I know we've got one scheduled coming up in just a couple of weeks. And um, Karen, I see you're still in the queue, but we'll make sure to get your information. Stay on. We'll get your information and um, we'll make sure that you're first up the next time we do this. This is really exciting. I love this. And I, I and everybody go grab those meditations. They're so fabulous. And we need some good meditation right now, right? <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you everybody for joining us. Okay, bye. Cheerio, bye-bye everyone.